Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master on a daily basis. Thank you for joining us. Monday, we began a series about freedom and we looked at the word free, which means liberty and dome dominion, which means to be in control, to dominate. And God created us to be in domination over creation. Creation is not supposed to be dominating us. Our habits are not supposed to be dominating us. And Christ wants us free. And we discovered what happens and what is the, the consequence and the cause of freedom. We discovered that in order to be free, F means we have to face our bondage. What is it that is holding us bound? R means I must be willing to relinquish control to God, to give it to God. E means I must be willing to examine the root of the problem, the root, the underlying causes. Now, you know that there is fruit and there's roots. So if you have weeds in your yard, the way you get rid of your weeds is just not, just not by pulling up the weeds or cutting the weeds because the weeds will come back, will come back. You've got to deal with the underlying cause of the weeds and that's below the surface, that you, things you don't see. That's called the root. And for all of our behavior that may be dysfunctional, there is some root causes. Think of it this way. The behavior is the fruit. That's what you see. You're drinking, uh, promiscuity, um, uh, drugs, um, uh, eating disorders or shopping, the inability to manage money. Um, those are behaviors that you see. They're visible. That's the behavior. But underneath the behavior is some root causes for why we behave the way we behave. And uh, sometimes we don't even know what those causes are because we are in denial or some things that have happened in our past that are too painful for us to see. God doesn't want us just to be focused on the visible, the behavior we see. God wants us to do some honest self-examination and go deep, deep down and look at what are the root causes, that which is not always visible. Jesus used this in a parable on one occasion in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 33, where Jesus says, if you grow a healthy tree, you will pick healthy fruit. If you grow a diseased tree, you'll pick worm eaten fruit. The fruit tells you about the tree. So let's say if I got an apple and it's a bad apple, do I ball out the apple? No, because it's not the apple's fault. Whose fault is it? It's the root. The root is the tree. It's the tree's fault. So if you got a bad tree, you're going to be produce bad fruit. That's what he is saying. And if you've got bad roots, you're going to have to, you will always have you're going to always have bad fruit. Now, the root, my brothers and sisters, are the things that are not always evident. It could be something that happened in our life in the past that we have not really dealt with. It could be some, listen to me, some unresolved trauma in our past that's too painful for us to deal with that is causing us to behave the way we're behaving. So let's look at some, some roots. For example, some unresolved emotional pain that we have internalized. Here's one, rejection. Maybe you experience rejection from the people who should have been accepting you and embracing you. Maybe it was parents that you could never please if you, if you got a C, well, they'll say, you worked hard. You got that C. They say, well, you should have got a B. And if you get a B, they say, no, you should have got an A. And when you do finally get an A, they say, well, the class was probably too easy. In other words, you experience rejection. And as a result of that rejection, that's the root. But here's the fruit. The fruit of that rejection is, is that you're promiscuous 
or you're always a needy person having to be validated and affirmed by other people. And you wonder, well, why am I like this? It's because there are some underlying causes. Say, for example, resentment. You're a person that is a resentful. Why am I so resentful? Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 15 says, it's the root. It's the root. He says, guard, your, guard against turning back from the grace of God. Let no one become like a bitter plant that causes, that grows up and causes many troubles with its poison. The bitter plant is the root. So you're experiencing resentment because something in the past it could be a betrayal that you have not dealt with and you don't want to deal with it because it's too painful to deal with. Or it could be that you were just taught some wrong things, some wrong principles, you know, uh, and you, you, there are certain things you think that you have to do in order to be accepted. And because you were taught wrong, you're behaving wrong. But the root of the bad behavior is the things that we have learned in the past are some things that we don't readily see. Listen to me. God wants to go down deep and deal with issues that sometimes we all have difficulty dealing with. Uh, to be totally honest with you, it was just uh, last year that I had to address some issues in my own childhood. Um, issues that uh, had to do with parental issues. And my mother, she died when, when I was uh, 11 years old. And I, I, in fact, it was a week before my 11th birthday that my mother passed. And she had cancer, she was 36 years old. And I was holding a lot of anger and rage, and I didn't know that I was holding the anger and rage. And the reason I was holding the anger and rage was not because my mother died, but because uh, I didn't get to know her before she died. And I didn't get to know her before because she died because she was, she was a career woman. And she was, she was the minister of music here at St. Stephen Baptist Church and a prominent Sunday school, I mean, a, a music teacher. And, and she taught in the public school. She was a very busy woman and I didn't get to know her. So I, I, I was angry because I felt like I didn't get to know my mom. And because of that, I think I pushed myself to try to excel and, 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 and it's good to be the best that you can be and to maximize your skills. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're doing it because in the back of your mind, you're trying to prove to somebody that you're worthy of acceptance then you will never rest because you'll never get to the point where you know what, I'm worthy of acceptance. And I think that's what I was doing in my life. I was trying to, in the back of my mind saying, well, if I can just succeed, if I can be the best preacher, if I can be the best pastor, if I can be the best of everything, then maybe my mom would be proud of me. I think that was in the back of my mind. That was the root. And God had to deal with me about that root issue and say, you know what? Uh, your mother was not perfect. And the only person who has the right to a perfect parent is a perfect child. Since you're not a perfect child, you don't have a right to a perfect parent. And you're not a perfect parent now, Kevin. So look, relax, be the best you can be, but do it for the right reason. Not because you have to prove anything to anybody, but just because you want to be the best that you can be. I had some issues with my behavior on the outside that was rooted in some belief systems and some things I had that I didn't even realize I had until God revealed that to me. And now I'm free. I'm okay now. I don't have anything to prove to anyone. I'm okay. I accept myself. God loves me. I love me. And if somebody else doesn't love me, well, they're the ones that has the problem. And maybe you've got some root issues and these root issues are what's causing the behavior and the bondage. Christ wants to set you free from that. And he can't deal with the bad fruit until you're willing to say, God, I want to be honest with you and help me deal with the root. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word and help us to be free and help us to be willing to be honest with you about some root 
causes. Help us to talk with somebody if we need to, or go to counseling and dig up some roots that we've, we haven't looked at. The, the things that are hidden from us, help us to bring them to light so that we can deal with them and we can be truly be free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with me on another powerful point to ponder. Uh, if you don't have a church home, we'll, look, we'd love to have you here at St. Stephen Church. Contact us here at uh, New Start, New Start at ssclive.org. God bless you. And uh, we'll pick up on this again tomorrow. But until then, you have a great day. And remember, during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. I'll see you tomorrow.